It's time for baseball on MLB Network. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Washington Nationals. Nick Castellanos at the plate now, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. A very fine afternoon for baseball, 67 degrees here at first pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center after it is eaten. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Ready now for Cincinnati. Jesse Winker is past numbers with Steven Strasburg. He's gone three for six. One and two now. Strasburg has a reputation or a knack if you will for working himself out of tough situations when he finds himself there a lot of relief pitchers are known for that obviously but as a starter that's certainly a valuable characteristic to have Matty V and I'm going to tell you who likes this the bullpen likes it and the manager likes this because most pitchers are going to get into trouble at least one or two times during the course of a start and it's nice to know as a manager that you have a guy that's out there that can pitch with men on base and wiggle out of some tough jams. This guy's made a living doing this in his career. Three and one to him now. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two out walk. That is four. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Eugenio Suarez. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here now the 2-2. And another foul ball. The 2-2 one more time. He got him. Lively fastball that time. And it puts an end to the inning. Now at the plate, Trey Turner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here now the 2-2. In the air now, out to left. Castellanos has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Adam Eaton digging in next. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. The 1-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Here's Howie Kendrick. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Now the one and one pitch. This is line to left. And Kendrick has a base hit. Into the box now. One Soto. Swung on and chopped up the middle. And a low throw to first, but Votto's able to come up with it. A fine play there to end the inning. At the plate, Mike Moustakis. He'll start things out against Steven Strasburg as we get the inning underway. Stockus waits on the 1-1. One, one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2-1. and one. And he fouls this one off. Open stance by Mustakis, And now the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the that first out. Right now to the plate, Number Aristides Aquino. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Two and two the count. Now here's the pitch. 
Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvez. The 1-1 home. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Soto is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. In now, Eric Thames. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. One and two now as that one's fouled off. To two balls and two strikes now. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Another try at 2 2. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Now batting, Kurt Suzuki, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 1 1. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Heading out towards shallow right. Number 44 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Striding in now for the Nats as Dribble Cabrera, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. A ball and two strikes now. And he chased it in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. At the play, Tucker Barnhart, and he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Strasburg on one and one. Nope. Fouled off. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2-2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. Standing in now, Luis Castillo got it back in time there, and it's 2-1. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Nick Castellanos now. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Now the 2 1. We all know this guy is a great hitter. In a 3 1 count, this is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. Full count now. Left side. Cabrera, great stop. The throw. Wow. Coming to the plate now, Jesse Winker. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Winker.
Hit on the ground out to short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. The batter, the first baseman, Joey Votto. Stepping in now, Joey Votto fouled away. And good take that time on a low breaking ball. Two and two now. Looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. So here's the cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The ball in two strikes. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Here's the one two. Barnhart at third. Winker over at second. Votto at first. Two out in the inning. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Soto is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. Good patience exercised as he works out to walk to lead off the home half of the third. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Steven Strasburg. He'll get to take his first cuts here. A 1 1. It's going to be a sacrifice attempt as he gets it down. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Back to the top of the order now. And that will bring up one of the fastest players in all the land, Trey Turner. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. In now is Adam Eaton. Adam Eaton. One and two now to Adam Eaton. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive and a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. One and two. Here it is. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Rounded slowly to the left side. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Digging in, Mike Moustakis looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Again, he sends it out of play. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. At 
at the plate. Aristides Aquino. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Two balls and a strike to count. And it's fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Popped him up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Coming to the plate now, Freddie Galvis. He flew out in his last at bat. The one two swing and a miss got him reaching Suzuki corrals it and the throw to first ends the inning stepping in Howie Kendrick a base hit in his first trip yeah guys still the only hit in this game so far They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Hit sharply on the ground. And that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff single. The left fielder, number 22. At the plate, Juan Soto. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Center fielder looking up. Still ranging back. Gone! Into the box, Eric Thames. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Guess where he's going with this next pitch? Probably a little further outside, see if the fish are still biting. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. Hit on the ground to third. Galvis is there. And they won't have a play as he reaches it first. Let's see how this is scored. And Blake now has Drupal Cabrera. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Riding in once again, Ryan Zimmerman. He drew a walk his first time up. Zimmerman. The 2-2. Two -two. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. And that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, Tucker Barnhart, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Now a ball hit hard toward first. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. He's able to hustle his way up the second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Now back, the pitcher, Luis Castillo. Into the box now, Luis Castillo. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. In tight, look out. That one sends him to the deck. It's ball three. And he'll indeed square on three and one as he gets this one down. And Strasburg will get the out at first, but the sacrifice works as planned. 
So it's back to the top of the order now. The right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Eaton is under it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And they are on the board with the sack fly as this is now a two to one game. The kind of the Striding in, Jesse Jackie. Winker. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. He's set. Here comes the one one. And he drops a changeup right down Broadway for a cold strike. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Back up the middle. Turner has it. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. So here now is the pitcher, Steven Strasburg. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding breaking stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. The batter number seven. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Trey Turner. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. 2 and 1 the count to Trey Turner. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Castellanos is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. now batter, batter Striding into the box, Adam Eaton. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. 1 1. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So up steps the former MVP, Joey Votto. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's the 1 1. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning, you got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring in Eugenio Suarez. Line towards center field. Eaton is right there, one down. Ready for another chance? Mike Mustakis. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground. A dive, and he knocks it down. And the recovery throw is too late, and there are two on with one away now. Now batter, number 44. Standing in now, Aristides Aquino. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. The Reds have been searching for that big hit all game long. Let's hope they can get it. They're starting to run out of time. It's about time for something to happen. Oh, 
Fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. The batter, so three. striding in, well, Freddie Galvis, Freddie. as he'll look to bring home Galvis. that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The set and the 1 1. Popped up. Turner trying to get there, and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Digging in and looking for more, Howie Kendrick. He singled his last time up. Pulls this one in the air out to left. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Ready to take his hacks again, Juan Soto. As he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Going back to that last A.B., that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Juan Soto becomes out number two this inning. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Another one sent foul. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Digging in once again, Tucker Barnhart. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Mark Your Payton will please. pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 34, Mark Payton. Pitch sharply, but foul down the right side. One run, four hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Back to the top of the Reds lineup now, and stepping in, Nicholas Castellanos. Earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's nope. face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Jesse Winker will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Wade Miley gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Wade. So digging in now, Kurt Suzuki, one for two on his line so far in the game. Here's the 3 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Winker is there, and he has it for the first out. 
So the leadoff man set down here for Esdrubal Cabrera. We're in the seventh inning now. The pitcher's duel, two to one, our score. Hit on the ground out to short. Galvis has it. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Ready now, Ryan Zimmerman. Two out, nobody on. Line towards center field. Winker is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Ready to begin the eighth. So stepping in, Joey Votto. It was a walk in his last trip. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Votto will take the turn and hit for second now. But that'll be off the wall in right center. The throw is wild and it gets away. And now with the possible time run at second here, we're going to have a pinch runner as they try to get a little more speed out there. Stepping in now, Eugenio Suarez. Line drive base hit. And this is off the fence now out near the Washington bullpen. On to second, but he's in safely as this game is tied late with a run scoring away from the play. At the plate, Mike Mustakis. Swing and Mustakis sends a drive to right. This ball's got some carry. Right fielder looking up. Gone! And that two run home run delivers an eighth inning lead. Austin Voss will come on now and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Starlin Castro is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. And he takes very close to the inside corner here, two and two though. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Stepping up to the plate, Tucker Barnhart will swing it from the left side right here. It's very difficult being a switch hitter, and very rarely you see the same hitter from both sides of the plate. He's a far superior hitter from the left side as opposed to the right side. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in on it is Eaton, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Now batting the left fielder with Tuffy Young. So now to the plate, Nicholas Castellanos fouled off. Here comes the payoff pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. A payoff pitch one more time. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Daniel Hudson is called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. 
Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play so that will move the count to two and two now. Swing and he pops him up and that'll get down for a base hit and they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Now batting the first baseman Nick Sendell. Two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. This is foul right side. Hit the other way out toward right field. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. Rysel Iglesias is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Rysel Iglesias. Here's Starlin Castro, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move in. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field, and this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. <laughs> to the plate now, Trey Turner. One and two. Now, one and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. One. Fastball well outside. I got to count two and two. And he comes back one with one down one and two. in for ball three. Adam Eaton is on deck. He'll hit next. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He's there and records the first down. Digging in to try it again. Adam Eaton. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The 1-1 home. Trying to bunt his way aboard, but this will get fouled. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Castellanos is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Pedro Stroke enters the game in a safe situation, but he'll be asked to get four outs here instead of the standard three. So two down now in the Washington eighth. And stepping in is the second baseman, Howie Kendrick. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. All even now, two and two. Skied into straightaway right. Number 44 is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Eugenio Suarez. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two. Is looked at for ball number two. This misses and Hudson goes to a full count now. It's three and two. On deck, Mike Mustakis. 
A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. Payoff pitch one more time. Shot toward right center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. At the plate now, Mike Mustakis yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. The one two pitch. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One now away. Number 44. In now for the Reds, Aristides Aquino. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two called. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Digging now in back. the switch hitter, Freddie Galvis. Freddie. Runner in scoring position Galvis. with two gone. And this will go right by Suzuki all the way to the backstop. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Strike taken up in the zone. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. Striding in to start the ninth, Juan Soto. And they'll need him to get something going here. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. And that finds its way through for a base hit. The right fielder, number Into the box now, Eric Thames. Galvis. Back to first, a ninth inning double play, and they're an out away from closing this one out. And now for Washington, Kurt Suzuki. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Fouled straight back. Last strike now for the Nats. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. Turned on down the line. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throw on to first is going to be in time to take care of him. And the Reds have come back to even up this series at a game apiece as this ball game is over. Yeah, they needed him a little bit earlier in this one, but he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four out save. Job well done. Six to three the final score today. Cincinnati used a huge eighth inning to help secure the win. Wade Miley gets the win in relief his second of the year. Pedro Strope gets a four out save his eighth of the season.
So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Six runs, ten hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. For the Nationals, three runs, six hits, no errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 16 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.